Howdy, howdy, my name's Chris and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be painting a Toyota Tri-Stage Pearl White. I'll be sharing with you step-by-step -step instruction on how to seal, paint, and clear coat with a low volume, low pressure paint gun. This is the patient for today's video. It's a Toyota SUV. The door had a little bit of a hiccup on it. Originally I was gonna replace this door, but it was on national back order. So I played a little bit of whack-a-mole and banged it out. But I'll give you all the details to that repair in the next video. First thing we need to do, this has been sitting overnight. We're gonna wash this with some isopropyl alcohol one more time before we start laying our sealer. Before we wash it, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my sealer. So let's do that now. The primer sealer we'll be using today is the U-Pole 2253 and the standard hardener 2323. This is a high build primer that is a direct to metal primer and also can be reduced and used as a sealer. So the mixture for sealer is four to one to two. Four parts primer, one part activator, and two parts urethane reducer. This is the Savito disposable cup system I'll be using today. I have started using this in replacement of the 3M products which are quite expensive, but it comes with this standard cup here. You get liners, 50, lids with a micron filter and this is the collar here now it doesn't have a mixing ratio of four to one to two it has four to one to one so we'll put four parts primer in one part activator and then we'll do two parts of urethane reducer depending on how much primer or sealer we want to mix up we're going to go to two here we'll put in two parts of primer this two for activator and then we'll go to two for the reducer so we're basically filling up from here to here with reducer and then we'll put another we're just going to have to eyeball it and put another part of reducer in there mix it up and we'll be ready to spray so cap i always like to lift this up make sure everything's sealed tighten up our ring and the gun we're using today this is a low volume low pressure gun this is made by a bunch of different companies it's been rebranded but it's an R500, so you can find it under R500. I'll leave links in the description. This is a low volume, low pressure paint gun that operates with 3.5 to 3.9 CFMs of air. So you can use it with a small compressor. So if you're painting your entire vehicle, you can use this to paint your entire vehicle without a bunch of fluctuation in your air pressure, which is really beneficial considering a lot of you guys are spraying out of your garage with smaller compressors. I'm gonna use this today. It produces a beautiful looking finish and we'll show you here in a minute. Lock it in, kind of pop it and then turn. Now you're locked in. We wanna wash this with isopropyl alcohol and then we'll tack cloth it off gently. I'm gonna put some gloves on before I even get near this surface. You always wanna wear gloves. You don't want any oils from your fingers to contaminate this surface before we start spraying product. We're gonna put our sealer on first over the primer area only any areas that we've broken through we're going to add our sealer so you can see on this edge there's a little bit of a breakthrough we're going to add sealer there right here we've broken through into some glazing putty here we're going to cover that with a uh, sealer as well okay so i've got my gloves on i've got my isopropyl alcohol and i've got a brand new microfiber towel i'll wash all the blending areas first the door the top the quarter panel and then i'll go over the primer because if there's any dust on that primer. I don't want to spread it over the rest of this white vehicle. Just before we seal, we want to tack off these panels. I've got a new tack rag here because this is a white vehicle. I don't want anything transferring to this. So we're gonna lightly tack over this vehicle, remove any dust that may just be, have landed on these panels. And I already picked up a little piece of dust right there. We want this panel as dust free as possible to get the best finish in our clear coat and our base coat. Okay, we're ready to seal this. Let's talk a little bit about the gun settings on this R500. This is the fan knob here. We're gonna adjust this to 
wide open and then I'm turning it half a turn back or a full turn back to narrow that pattern just a little bit because I want to be very precise where I put the sealer. I don't want sealer way out in this door or way out in that quarter panel. This is the fluid knob here. We're going to adjust that to three turns out from closed. So we'll screw it all the way in, turn it three turns out. Now the air pressure, I'm going to run this at about 20 PSI for sealer. Now this gun only uses about 3.5 to 3.9 CFMs of air. So you need to adjust your air pressure a little bit higher than you would on a conventional gun. So just because I'm adjusting my air pressure up does not mean that this produces more overspray than conventional guns. It actually produces a lot less and it's going to save you a bunch of money in materials. As an example, this week I sprayed an entire hood with two coats of clear coat with this gun with eight ounces of clear. Now typically it takes me that much to spray a bumper cover. Because this is very thin sealer, I'm going to put on two coats to make sure everything's covered. Now my first coat, a light to medium coat, just to introduce this sealer to the surface in case there's any kind of reactions. And then I will put on my second coat and that'll be a medium coat. We'll let this flash off for about 10 minutes and then we'll put on our second coat. Okay, now to soften the edge of the sealer, we're gonna use this U-Pole blend number nine. Uh, this is just basically reducer in a can, and we're just gonna spray this over these edges to soften these. It'll help smooth out the sealer edges here. We'll let this flash off for about 10 minutes and then we'll apply our first coat of base. While we let that sealer flash off, we're gonna go ahead and clean our paint gun. We want to clean it before, in between sealer and base, in between base and clear coat. I'm just using a little uh, pipe cleaner here with some thinner, some wash thinner. We're gonna run it through. We're gonna mix up the base color. This is a tri-stage finish, so we're putting a base white on first, and then we'll put our pearl on. I think this is this color is 051. So there's the base. This paint is Nason XL. I find it has a pretty good color match. It's reasonably priced, and I can get it pre-mixed at my local O'Reilly's. Of course, two to one is the ratio. Put our cap on, check it's sealed, put our collar on, and then lock in our gun. Ready to go. Now I'm not trying to do the blend right now, I just want to cover this area and the primer or the sealer. Same gun settings. That's the first coat. We're gonna let that flash off for 10 minutes. I am gonna tack rag this in between coats. I see a couple little particles of dust I wanna clean up before we put on our next coat. It's important to inspect after each coat. If you see dust, let it flash off. Try and tack those off or, or eliminate those. You may have to even sand those out a little bit. If you have a fine sandpaper like a 600 or even 800 or 1,000, you can lightly sand those out and then put another coat of base on it. So if we look closely here, you can see there's a little particle of dust right there. The lighting's not working very well here. So right there, there's a little particle of dust there. It's just a little lint. We're gonna tack this off before we apply our next coat. So I went ahead and I put that second coat on a little bit heavier 
since we had our first coat on, we introduced the paint to the surface. We could apply a little bit more paint, put it on a little bit heavier on the second coat to get better coverage. Now we'll do one more wet coat on this. I'll move out just a little bit farther and then I'll do a drop coat to do the blend. To blend this base white, I'll blend about a quarter of the way into the door, and then we'll cover that with our pearl white. And remember, we have to go past the base white when we blend our pearl. So the only thing I'm gonna do for the blend is I'm gonna move a little bit farther away from the panel, and then I'm gonna do it in kind of like a cross pattern. We're now ready for the mid coat of this tri-stage finish, which is the mid coat pearl white. I'm gonna go ahead and put one coat on. I'm gonna blend out into the door and blend out into the quarter, okay? Now I'm only gonna wait a couple minutes in between coats. We only need two coats of this pearl white. It doesn't need to flash off real long and it doesn't really change the color that much. We just wanna make sure everything's covered. I'm spraying with the same air pressure I sprayed with my sealer and my base white. We're using about 20 to 25 PSI of air. I've got my fan pattern wide open and my volume is three turns out from closed. And you can see there's still very little overspray with this budget R500 paint gun. After the second coat of pearl, all that's left is to blend out the quarter panel and blend out the door, just like we did the base white. The only difference is we have to go a little, out a little bit farther to make sure that base white is covered with our pearl. This gun lays down the pearls and metallics beautifully. I've had no issue with modeling or the way those metallics lay. It comes out nice and silky smooth. Okay, we're ready for some clear coat. We've got this pearl white, silky smooth. Check it out. Some light on here. Nice and smooth, ready for some clear. Setting up the R500 for clear coat, I'm gonna turn the fan pattern wide open. That's the top knob. We'll do the fluid volume and we'll turn that all the way in and then we'll turn it three turns out. So all three turns out from closed. Now, as far as the air pressure settings, I like to turn it up to about 30 PSI. I think that atomizes it perfectly and it's gonna give you that flat finish. I'll put two coats of clear coat on this. The first coat, we're just introducing that clear coat to the surface. We're not trying to make it absolutely perfect. The reason I'm bringing this gun to your attention is because it's benefited me in the garage and I wanna share that with you so it can help you out at home. Like many of you, I'm not using a paint booth. I'm spraying in an open garage. So I wanna do everything I can to minimize overspray. And this gun helps with that. It also helps in material savings. You can use it with a small compressor. It's easy to spray and it's very inexpensive at around $65. And I wanna be doing a review video on this gun if it didn't produce a beautiful looking finish, but I'm gonna let you be the judge, check out the finished product at the end, and let me know down in the comments what you think of the finish. Some painters are not fond of low pressure, low volume paint guns because they tend to be a little bit slower. But when we do our second coat of clear here, I'm gonna show you a technique that'll help you speed up the process. You can spray it just like a conventional paint gun and get the same type of finish. A couple clearing techniques with this gun, you wanna overlap 80%. You really wanna focus on that overlap. That's gonna give you a really flat finish. Don't be concerned, you're not gonna run it. This gun is really easy to use. As long as you keep a consistent distance from the panel and a consistent speed, you're not gonna have any problems with running your clear. Let's go ahead and finish up this first coat of clear and then I'll share with you a technique that's gonna help you speed up the painting process if you like to spray quickly. <laughs> Check out the clear after the first coat. 
slicked out beautifully. I'm ready to lay on the second coat. I want to hit it a little bit harder on the second coat, get it a little bit slicker, put more material on the panel, let it flow out just a little bit better. Now, if you like to paint quickly and you think a low volume, low pressure paint gun is just too slow for you, you can change your technique just a little bit and it'll spray just like a conventional gun. The way you do that is you move closer to the panel and you move quickly. So I'm about three inches away from this panel. Now I can move quickly across this panel. I'm getting more material on that panel, letting it flow out a little bit better and getting a flat finish and ultimately speeding up this gun. If you want to use this technique, you got to be careful because you have to be consistent in your distance and three inches away from a panel is pretty close. So you have to be really consistent in your distance and your speed, or you could run it. But this is just a technique that's gonna speed up this gun so you can spray it like a conventional gun and still get the results that you're looking for. Check out the results of this R500 low volume, low pressure paint gun at $65. I believe it's a bargain. Let me know your thoughts on how you think this gun sprayed. And if you've used this gun before, let me know about your experience with it. Listen, if you want to learn more about paint and body repair, check out one of these videos now. I appreciate each and every one of you watching, and we'll see you next time on Garage Noise.